travel to the new Keep me traveling along with you Round the corners of the world I turn More and more about the world I learn And the new things that I see You'll be looking at along getting very excited about sport at the moment and my guess is that by the time some of you see this video we will know the answer to some quite significant sporting questions who will be the winner of the euros will it be england or will it be italy i'm sure that's the question that most people are asking some of us have perhaps other questions as well like who will be the new Wimbledon ladies champion. This year it will be somebody new, somebody who's never won before. Or will anybody be able to defeat Novak Djokovic in his attempt to get yet another Grand Slam? Sport is full of questions, questions that occur in the moment, and sometimes questions that have to be asked before the moment. When a football manager like Gareth Southgate is deciding how to beat another team, lots of questions come before the match actually ever begins to take place. The first one might be which players are fit? And then it's a case of who do I put in the squad? And then who do I play first? Who do I keep as a substitute? Who becomes one of my finishers as a famous rugby manager began to call them, the people who are brought on at the end with energy still to give, to try and make that final conclusive push for a decisive victory. And for tennis players, it's questions about technique. There are those questions, split second questions in the moment, which shot do I play? But there are other questions before that, what make of racket do I want to use? How do I want my racket strung? Do I want it strung very tightly so that it's very hard and gives a very sharp shot or a bit less so? And some tennis players carry a kit bag with a dozen rackets all strung exactly the same. And some carry a kit bag with rackets strung differently for different stages in the game. Only they know what's in their kit bag, but it's very important. I know you've been thinking with 
Reverend Sean about kit bags a bit this week and thinking about what you might put in your kit bag. Today, Jesus talks to his disciples about that. What he says is quite scary. Now, why should that matter to us? Well, it might matter to us because Jesus is an important person. I wonder if any of you have got a football shirt with the name and number of one of your famous players or favourite players on it. Perhaps you have, perhaps your dad has, and perhaps they're different. Because different players come to prominence at different times. We all have things that identify us with a sport or players that we are fond of. This is mine. Because I'm old, it's a glasses case. <laughs> You won't be able to see, perhaps beyond a little bit there, that there's a symbol on the front of it. If I open it up and hold it up, you might see a little bit better. It's the symbol of Wimbledon, because this glasses case came from the Wimbledon Museum shop. It's my way of identifying with Wimbledon. I could never afford a full professional tennis racket. But if we want to identify with Jesus, perhaps we'd want to put into our personal kit bag some of the things that he puts in. Perhaps we'd want to, as it were, follow him by acknowledging some of the choices that he has made. And today's gospel is quite challenging in that sense, as we look at it through this week. It says, take a staff and wear sandals. Oh, and don't bother with a bag and don't bother with any money and don't bother with any food. I think if you were going on a school trip and somebody said, don't bother to take any money and don't bother to take any food, you'd be a bit disappointed, wouldn't you? But Jesus is saying, trust other people for some things. You don't have to do it all yourself. The staff was a symbol in Jesus' day, as it is even today, of somebody who was on a journey, somebody who needed to travel light. And Jesus is saying to his friends and his companions, if you want to be like me, if you want to, as it were, wear my football shirt, then learn to trust other people. Learn to expect that what you need will be, you don't have to do it all yourself. In your kit bag, you need to have trust and hope and generosity, because generosity towards others will bring generosity back to you. So I hope as you think about what's going on in the world around us at this time, first of all, that you're happy with whatever result we got in the sport, but also that as you think about your personal kit bag, you think about what needs to be in there, the staff and the sandals, and what needs to be more in you, the hope and the trust and the generosity of life. Having said that, when I looked at the gospel to prepare for this this morning, I then went on the internet and bought a new pair of sandals.